All right, I go to Bank of America today. I go inside because, um, I guess how should I phrase it? I lose things very easily, so I misplace my debit card, and I don't have my other debit cards for another reason I'm not going to discuss, but I have to go in the bank because I don't have my debit cards with me. I don't want to order a new one because I know I'm going to eventually come across it. That's the reason being, but as I was saying, I go in the bank because I do not have my debit cards. Went in the bank today. Um, they announced Bank of America. Well, before I, I, I go to the bank, I apologize. I w went online to online banking to do a transfer. They said the website was down. So I'm like, oh, website down. Crazy. Then I got to go in the bank and uh, ask for it out of a certain account. I just want to, you know, just go there and be like, hey, this is the account. I don't want to, you know, spend too much time in there. But when I got there, they announced that, you know, Bank of America's system is down. If you do not have your checking account number, you won't be able to make a deposit or withdraw. Okay, cool. I run outside. I have a, I went to grab a voided check. <clears throat> when I get inside, I ask the lady, hey, I have a voided check for my account. This may not be the account that I want to withdraw money from because it might not have the sufficient amount of funds in this particular account. But if, if needed, I'll use, I know a, a, a rounded estimate what I have in this account. I'll just take that out. So she said, you know, she'll go ahead and confirm that with one of the tellers if I can pull up my other account with using this account number. Okay, she goes to the teller and then she asks the question, uh, if I could pull up another account number with having a different account number, although they're on the same account, of course, just different account numbers. She said, possibility, because uh, earlier she did that for somebody, it worked, and then when she did it for somebody else, it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, trial and error, I have to go in, um, I guess, see if it might work. Okay, I wait about uh, 30 minutes, half mm, to almost an hour. It was probably like an hour wait, because everything was running so slow for no reason. So when I get to the teller, with my account number, she can't even pull up the one account to see how much money I have in there. And if there there was a certain amount of money confirmed, I would not be able to take it out because there's no telling what is in the account. She doesn't, and I have to have a check to take cash out. I have to cash a check, is in other words. So I ask her, hey, do you have any blank checks you can give me? I can put my account number and you can run it since I do at least have my voided check. I did go in my car and I picked up an old bank statement. You know, when I left the Carter Kessler campaign, uh, I was registered living at, at the campaign headquarters. So my mail was, was sent there so, you know, I can have a physical document stating that, you know, I live legally and permanently in the Clark County Athens Georgia area so you know it was just crazy how if they decide not to give people any money they don't have to give people any money all your money will be lost all your fake banknotes you know I really can't make a big issue of this because I don't have the legal documentations to really, you know, provide in court or, you know, to really have non-believers believe me. But back in, what, 2006, I'd Bank of America still $1,000 for me. You know, uh, me and my wife had sold some property that we had in Florida, you know, her house was paid off. So everything that we got was basically equity, our money, other than you know paying the fees of the the real estate agent company and all this other shit for them to you know put on the market and sell it. But you know, came out here the first year we spent like a hundred hundred thousand. We put thirty thousand on our house. We put twenty thousand on a minivan. Uh, fully furnished the house. You know, that right there was what? Give it like seventy, eighty thousand, and then you know the last twenty 
we got right. We bought stuff for the house, you know, pots, pans. Family had to get right because we, when we left Florida, you know, we left an old, I guess, our past behind us, in other words, you know, moving forward, we both met up and started a new lifestyle. So, you know, I'm not rich, but, you know, when you're spending those type of transactions, it's easy for the banks to steal money from you. You have to keep a track of everything because, you know, it was a couple things we purchased and we refunded it. I mean, I apologize, we returned it and they processed a the refund. And then somewhere down the line, Bank of America lost $1,000 in, in the process, for those that bank with Bank of America, you know they move around transactions. You might see a post here, and it's gone tomorrow. And if you ever check your account, like at a strange hour of the day where, where people are normally sleeping, you'll see a, a lot of strange shit. I've seen them put credits to my account in the morning; they'll be gone. It's like they do shit like that to to send money from one account to another to another, so it gets lost, and they just launder money. It's disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah, new war order is real. Control of the currency. I apologize. I apologize. I'm getting to the Dutch. I'm getting to the Dutch. As always, my soldiers, I salute y'all. Music City Liberty Fest, April 6th in Atlanta. It's going to be um, center stage is the venue. Go to the ticket box. I forget the, the way they phrase it. But we'll have all that shit posted soon. Fuck your boy. You know what it is. Crip Ron Paul. Holla at me. Peace.